This brother Ian all the way from Chicago, but he had already been here like for some years. But he, he still flew him in. He, he didn't get here walking, but he hailed from Chicago, Illinois. Put your hands together for the very talented Blue the Comedian. Shit, and then went on, got a little FEMA checks, and went on back home. 
Uh, and then they won a little Super Bowl, start asking who that and all that. And I'm just wanting to know who that gonna give us back Sharpstown Town Mall. Because <laughs> <laughs> the mess one done took that and turned into a three story watch tip. <laughs> You know, they can turn anything. I saw the other day, they stopped the West Hamer bus and turned it into a, a taco spot. Right on the scene, right on West Hamer and Kirkwood. And you know it was still a bus, because you could hear the little gas pushing out of it. But you know it was a taco joint, because they had that water hanging at the little entrance to keep the flies away. The mess to keep some lines and some water. Y'all right here? <laughs> you see black people coming out. Usually, uh, in the young world, they got a thing called crump. Translation for crump is is anybody shooting that might get killed. Because you know, young people love to go to somewhere where you, where they shooting and you might get killed. Then niggas don't care. Niggas love to go somewhere where they shooting and might get killed. You tell a nigga, man, we gonna be at Ovation's comedy spot. We gonna be chilling. It's gonna be a nice little crowd, have a little drinks, we're gonna laugh and have some fun. A nigga won't even show up. <laughs> but tell me somebody got killed that last week. Nigga, what, what, what coin is on? I'm bringing, what you got shot with? I'm bringing mines too. <laughs> black people praise love the black parents. I know everybody in here parents, shit. Anybody got them gangster parents just still gangster? Like, mama, what are you doing? You, 42 years old trying to sell drugs. <laughs> but if you're gonna front me a quarter pound, uh, when I gotta pay you back. <laughs> See, my mom's so gangsta, she'll front you some dope and get you killed for the same one. And then try and claim you on the taxes. <laughs> That's gangsta. All this new shit from the sky. You can't get a good whooping around here no more. You can't just beat the shit out of your kids no more. A little secret to the white folks, reason why black people don't have all little special little autism, little dyslexia and shit, because a black mother will beat that shit out of you. <laughs> and the doctor tell the, the doctor tell the mama good, uh, excuse me ma'am, we think you have a little autism and uh, he can't draw shit. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, drawing stick figures out, I beat this shit out of them. <laughs> black kids can't even get constipated, because your mama, what's your mama tell you? I will beat this shit out of you. <laughs> black kids got it hard. Black parents, I think we the only ones blame our kids for getting shit like a cold. You know, when you got yourself sick. <laughs> Miss Houston, it was 80 yesterday and 42 today. I would have got myself sick, huh? You would have got yourself sick. Yeah. Went through a little town called Byron, Texas, just not too long ago. You know, I am originally from Chicago, so you know, I, I had heard the little stories about Byron, Texas. You know, you know, I didn't really believe what was going on, so you know, I said, you know, hell. Yeah. Uh, you know, I still go through it. It's a little bar called The Last Hangover or whatever. You know, I ain't thinking nothing about it. Ask the white man, uh, what niggas gonna be doing around here around 10? <laughs> he looked at me and chuckled and then looked back outside, the little oak tree and shit. I said, what is that all about? <laughs> what niggas gonna be doing around here around 10? <laughs> he looked at me and then looked back outside at that oak tree and said, she just hanging out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>